Welcome back to F1 Report everyone. It's race week and we are back after a week off and we are ready for another European triple header. This week we are in Belgium for the race at Spa Francorchamps, one of the classic races with a rich history. The race has been held 75 times previously and is typically a Ferrari dominated track with 18 wins to McLaren's 14 and they are currently on a two win streak with Sebastian Vettel winning in 2018 and Charles Leclerc last year. Interestingly, Mercedes only have six wins at this track. Could it be a bogey track for them? The weather forecast for this weekend is relatively cool, certainly much cooler than the British and Spanish races, so it's unlikely we'll see the cooling or blistering issues on any of the cars this weekend. We may also have a chance of seeing some rain to spice things up too. As usual, let's take a look at how the teams are coming into this weekend and what they might be expecting out of it. We'll start with our constructors leaders, Mercedes. They come into this one after bouncing back with a commanding win in Spain last time out. If Hamilton continues his form from that race, it'll be very hard to stop him. The one man who may have a chance is his teammate, who has admitted to feeling like the championship is slipping away from him already. There is only one way to solve that problem, and it's to win this race. That'll be Valtteri Bottas's goal. Red Bull, the main challenger to the crown this season, and although they are still a way off, they have been improving over the last few races. Max Verstappen is doing exactly what he needs to, chasing and harassing the Mercedes, waiting for a mistake and capitalising when available. Alex Albon has improved his qualifying slightly in recent races. If we can see a continued improvement, then he should hopefully be able to challenge his teammate after a shaky start to his second year. Ferrari probably won't be in a position to add to their dominant record in Belgium, however, we have seen Leclerc grab a few podiums, so who knows what could happen, right? Leclerc has been performing very, very well this season after all. However, it is his teammate Vettel that will have all eyes on him. His exchanges with Ferrari have been rocky to say the least. Will that continue this week? Racing Point have been a team on the charge in recent races, finally living up to their car's billing. Both Stroll and Perez seem very evenly matched both will be looking to push on to try and catch the Red Bulls. They've also had a bit of good news off the track as well. Renault have pulled out of their protest against the Racing Point brake ducks, so a little bit of pressure lifted there. McLaren had a good race last time out, Sainz did a great job at his home Grand Prix, and McLaren are now ahead of Ferrari in the championship race by one point. They're also only one point behind Racing Point in the battle for third. Norris's results have dropped off in the last couple of races though, sliding down toward the tail end of the points. So I think McLaren will have the goal of moving him forward, trying to secure some good points again like he did earlier in the season. Renault had a torrid time in Spain, really off the pace all throughout. They'll be looking to bounce back after taking a week off to regroup. They're only 25 points behind Ferrari, so it's not unrealistic for them to catch up if they make a charge. Ocon has so far been disappointing this season though. I've been giving him the benefit of the doubt as he's just coming back into the sport after a year out. However, Renault's patience won't be endless with him and they'll want him to start moving closer to his teammate. Alpha Tauri are probably the most consistent team this year, hoovering up points at the tail end and outperforming the cars around them. There's not much else to say except that I expect that to continue uh, into this weekend really. The only battle is between Gasly and Kvyat, the teammates, with Gasly winning comfortably so far, so Kvyat will be wanting to peg him back if possible this time out. Alfa Romeo, Haas and Williams will all be battling out at the back of the field. Alfa did a good job last time out, but Haas have been very good at strategic surprises, so hopefully both of those teams will continue those strengths into this weekend. One big change comes off the track at Williams who this week announced they are under new ownership. This probably won't have any bearing on the race itself, but it will be very interesting to see how the Williams team responds to this news. Belgium is a fast paced and fun race, which always brings a good time. The threat of rain also adds another interesting element into the mix. So my team to watch this week is Red Bull. If this track really is a bogey race for Mercedes, then Red Bull will be in the perfect position to capitalise. 
It'll also be very interesting to see if Albon can keep improving his qualifying performances like he has done in the past couple races. But my driver to watch is actually Carlos Sainz. He had a stellar last race last time out. And if he can continue that form forwards, could we see him challenge for a podium? What do you guys think? Is there anyone you're on the lookout for this weekend as well? Let me know in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next one.